So, um, this is my presentation. My book is Life After a Life by Kay Atkinson, and um, I just wanted to, I have, how do I, okay, so this is, this is on the only slide that I have, just because this is the book and then the author, because, like, this book is, it's really descriptive um, of, like, the things the main character faces, and she goes through things like, like, rape and domestic violence, and uh, she's born, uh, like, three years before World War One ends, and then she does a lot of different things in World War Two, and like so she sees like a lot of little horrors and stuff and I didn't like want to put that on here because my themes uh, kind of talk about those things and so this book is called Live After Life and it follows the story of Ursula Todd and um, so it's called Life After Life because every time she dies she's born again and in each each of her lives like sometimes a different thing will change um, so the book starts off with her um, walking into a cafe uh, with a gun uh, in her purse, and she sits down, and she's at a, at a I, mean, I guess it's like a lunch date with Adolf Hitler, and she um, she walks in, sits down, has a little small talk, pulls out her gun, shoots him, and then is immediately killed by 20 different SS agents. Um, and then it goes to her birth. So when she's born, she's born with an umbilical cord wrapped tightly around her neck so she can't breathe. So within minutes, she dies because the doctor can't get there. And then, like when she dies, darkness falls, and then it starts over again. Um, so then in her, her second life, she's born, the umbilical cord is there, but this time, whatever was holding the doctor up in, the, in her first life, uh, it wasn't there anymore, so he's able to come and snip the cord and then she lives, and then uh, she lives until she's about four, and then that's when she's playing with her sister near the ocean, and then the waves drag her in, and then darkness falls again. And then in her next life, uh, around, like something is different around like her birth, like, like one of her siblings like isn't present or whatever. Like little things change each time, but then uh, when she's playing by the beach, her, um, there's, there's a guy there painting and he sees the girls go into the ocean so then he stops them from dying and then she lives again until she's about seven when her, um, her brother throws her doll out the window and she tries to get it, falls out and dies and is born again and she, um, and so my main theme here was uh, fate and the consequences of actions because there are a lot of things that happen in each of her lives and when she dies and is born again she learns from them and throughout her lives, she like she begins to experience like a sensation of, of deja vu, specifically around Armistice Day, which was the end of World War One, where um, her the family maid comes home or like I'm not home, uh, she she has the Spanish influenza and she infects um, her sister Bridget, Ursula's sister Bridget, and so Bridget comes home and like kills the entire family of Spanish influenza. And then she's born again, and then she like wakes up with this feeling of dread that nobody should go down and see Bridget. And then, um, and over the course of the next couple of lives, she like ends up knocking Bridget down the stairs and breaking her arm so that she doesn't end up going and infecting the family. And um, so my other, like, and then she eventually like has some sort of like psychotic break and has to see a therapist about like her deja vu because she can't understand like what's happening to her and why she's remembering things that never happened and like her mom like tells her she's crazy and um, like so the other things that are discussed in this book since it's a strong female character there's a lot of feminine struggles and like a lot of like on the topic of feminine femininity because in this specific time period in the 20th century women were kind of pushed to the side forced to like take household jobs uh, for example like uh, her sister tries to, okay, her sister tries to um, go and pass some kind of exam or whatever and she fails and she tells her mom and her mom says, oh, like, women don't really need to be in the university, like, that's fine, you don't need to go to school. And um, this kind of has, like, and like the female sexuality in particular is like really suppressed in this novel and like it changes how Ursula has to act because one of her early traumatic experiences was uh, at her 16th birthday, and um, her brother, her oldest brother, brings home an American friend, and he um, follows her into the basement and rapes her in one of her lives, and then in the next life, he tries to kiss her, and she punches him in the face, and then he does it, 
end up raping her and like in the life where she's raped she um she doesn't speak about it until she's about uh, 20 where she tells her mother and then her mother blames it all on her and tells her that she's ruined like everyone's like way of thinking about her and like her virtue and then another one of my topics is domestic violence like there's femininity and then there's domestic violence and rape because she um she falls into an abusive marriage where she's walking on the street and she falls down and breaks her nose and someone comes up to help her stop the bleeding and then three months later she's married and then uh, a couple months later he, they're like at a dinner party or something and her husband misquotes something and she corrects him and then you see like a shadow fall over his face and like it progressively gets worse and worse and like all these things that like she does that just tick him off and, um, and then that life ends when um, she tries to get away from him and she goes to her brother and her husband follows her thinking that he's, she's run off with another man and he attacks her brother and then takes her head and slams it into the corner of a table killing her and then um, in her next life obviously when he like fixes the bleeding she doesn't get married to him and then my last topic was the effects of war because as she enters uh, World War II she, she does several different things she's a um, a warden during the Blitz, and then at one point she's a wife of a German lawyer, and that's where she meets Eva Braun and uh, Adolf Hitler, and like gets to see that like side of the war, and it takes a physical and as well as like an emotional toll on her as she becomes like really hardened to the atrocities that she sees, and um, and it um, like at one point she had like been a, like a volunteer in like a rescue squad going around like in this house like saving someone and then like seeing someone being like burnt to death by a fire and then like she goes home to her family and then one of them is like you look like a coal miner and she like looks in the mirror and she's like oh like she doesn't really um care and then and then it ends how it begins with her walking into the cafe and shooting hitler and she like realizes that if she wants to be happy in her life she just has to let what's going to happen happen because sometimes things in her lives happen without any intervention of her own and she, there's nothing she can do to stop it. So that's all.